Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to be a little different because days 96 and 97 I actually don't have that much footage from. So I am going to explain what happened those two days and explain why I don't have much footage and all that. So I'll start with day 96 was a zero day at my house. I went home, Stretch came with me, gave him the whole tour of my hometown, did a lot of fun things. We went to my gift shop, my mom's gift shop, uh, just gave him the big tour, went to my friend's food truck, saw a lot of my family and friends, and it was just a really good time. So I really enjoyed that day, and it was my decision not to film it um, and instead kind of be in the zone, be in the moment, and just experience everything that was going on because it was a busy day. It was really jam-packed, and I had a lot of fun. I do, I think, have one video clip from that day and a couple pictures, so I will show you those right now. Watch you crack. It didn't work. The next day was day 97, and Stretch and I went back to trail. My mom and her friend dropped us off, and this was the day we were going to hike Mount Cube, Smarts Mountain, and we were going to originally end our day at the base of Mount Musilaki to kind of set us up for the next day to hike that 4,000 footer. But a couple things went on this day. Um, the first thing, my phone had a major glitch so whenever I tried to start a video my phone would just kind of go a little crazy and stop the video and there was no way for me to fix that while out on trail so I have some video clips from that day because I tried to vlog it and then once I realized it wasn't working I just kind of scrapped the idea of taking a vlog um, just because I was too frustrated and I think I frustrated myself that day to the point where I gave myself a migraine. So not only could I not vlog, I was actually feeling really sick. And we ended up ending our day a lot sooner than we thought we were. It ended up being a 14 mile day when we originally thought it was going to be a 24 mile day. So I do have video clips from that day. They're not great video clips, but I will show you now and you can kind of see the view and what we're hiking and everything so enjoy starting the day climbing up smarts mountain which is up there you can see the fire tower All right, this is the fire tower on top of Smarts Mountain. You can see over here, we were trying to tell if all those clouds were like rain or snow or fog, but that's the direction we're headed. <laughs> um, that's in the middle, that's Mount Cube. That's gonna be the next peak of the day. And you can see some of the whites like way out in the distance over there. I have a YouTube channel now. <laughs> I went, <laughs> we stopped at Dunks on the way here, and my perfectly good donut got a little smushed in the backpack. Killed it. <laughs> it's still going to taste good. Let me see your check and pull. Where did you get that? Your gift shop, bro. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. That's going to do it for today's video. Sorry it was kind of weird, but this is the best I can do given all the circumstances. So thanks for watching. The next video is going to be me climbing Mount Musilaki, which is going to be such a good one. It's the first 4,000 footer in New Hampshire. It's kind of the entrance to the White Mountains and it's going to be a good one. So make sure you stay tuned for that. 
and I'll see you then. Bye.